Okay, so we have talked about how to create proper affirmations. We've talked about the application of affirmations. So today we're going to talk about how do we know our affirmations are working and when is it time to adjust them? Okay, so when is it time to adjust them? How do we know that they're working? And you might be saying, well, Lisa, why in the world would I ever need to adjust my affirmations? And why do I need to check to make sure that they're working? Because you need to be sure that the affirmations that you have put forward are actually like that they're clear enough that they're actually doing what you intend for them to do, that you're getting the intended result. And if there's no result happening, then you need to say, okay, well, where do I need to adjust the verbiage? Where do I need to adjust the wording? How do I need to adjust when, maybe when I say it, how, you know, early in the morning, whatever the case may be. I don't think you really need to necessarily do it, go that far, but you do need to be sure that they are framed in the right way so that you're getting the right result. Now, the first question I know all of you are going to have is, well, how long am I supposed to wait? Like, when is it going to, like, when, when do I look to see for results? I would begin to look within like three to five days for even minor changes. And that's if you're being, shall we say, mm, consistent, okay? Are you being consistent with speaking these affirmations, okay? So be sure when you're speaking affirmations, for sure when you wake up in the morning, for sure before you go to bed at night, And anytime during the day that you're feeling a little less like the person that you're manifesting, that that entity and that energy you're bringing in, anytime you feel like you're not really that person, you can then speak some affirmations out, okay? So in the morning, right, at night, and at least once or twice, I'm thinking during the middle of the day. Now, one of the easiest way to do the easiest ways to implement this is to use the Tesla three, six, nine method. So you write the affirmation three times in the morning, six times about noontime, midday, nine times before bed, three times in the morning, six times, right? Midday, nine times before bed. So, and listen, sometimes I might be affirming like, I don't know, three or four things at once, but make sure they're all kind of relatable. So yeah, I'm writing each of these three times in the morning, six times midday, nine times at night. I also speak out the affirmations at the same time. So I write it and I speak it three times. I write it and I speak it six times. I write it and I speak it nine times. Okay, so that's one real quick and easy way to make sure that you're being consistent, that you're being consistent, consistent in what you're saying, consistent in the time frame, consistently getting this energy integrated into your being and consistently reprogramming your brain. About three to five days after you start this process, I would say for sure five, okay, you should begin to see certain things around you changing, little things right? Little wins. Be very, mm, uh, be very aware. Be aware of how little you think this same thing about yourself. So let's say right now you're going through a time period where you're really not feeling lovable. You're not feeling loved. You're not feeling supported. Even though consciously, you know, there are people all around you that are loving you, that are supporting you and all that, right? but you're not feeling that way. So there's something internally that's keeping you from feeling that way. So we start with our affirmations, right? Doing the three, six, nine method. I am loved. I am lovable. I am loved. I am lovable. I am loved. I am lovable. Maybe it's, I am loved. I am lovable. I love myself. I am loved. I am lovable. I love myself. Maybe those are the three things that we're saying three times a day, six times a day, nine times a day. We're writing them three times a day, six times a day, nine times a day. And then let's say three or four days later, let's say five days later, you notice that you're not feeling as unloved as many times throughout the day. 
you're not feeling as unloved or not lovable, or you're noticing that you're starting to do things that speak back to you that like actions as a result of loving yourself, setting proper boundaries, having proper standards for how other people are going to treat you and start setting those boundaries, taking a moment for self-care, taking a moment to be self-aware. All of these things, as you begin to see them throughout the day, show that it's working, okay? That it's beginning to work. Now, if it's a financial or a business or some other type of um, manifestation, you'll see little things along the way, but no the fullness of that manifestation is probably going to take a little bit longer, especially if it's a high goal, because your frequency has to be raised to this level, right? If your frequency is down here and your goal or your manifestation is up here, you got to go a long way. So that's why we, we look at these incremental, incremental um, advances. So let's say it's that you're manifesting that you, that you have an abundant impactful spiritual or transformational coach coaching healing business right okay great well and let's say that it's bringing in twenty thousand dollars a month okay so fab is a great goal right but if you haven't even started your business yet there's probably some things that are going to need to happen before you can reach that goal so look for the incremental steps it could be that you're driven to a webinar it could be that you're driven to watching some videos on YouTube or starting to subscribe to somebody on YouTube. It could be that you are, I don't know, that that because you see an ad or see someone on YouTube that you know you're meant to work with them in a coaching capacity. Or maybe you're given an opportunity to be a part of a mastermind or, you know what I'm saying? It could be a lot of different things, okay? Could be. So... Don't immediately think five days from now, you're going to have a business that's bringing in $20,000 a month. But instead, if you've got no business or if you've just started and you're just not sure which way to go, if people are brought across your path that then help you get to the place that you need, that you want to be. And this could be in the healing, right? Energetic healing. This could be like, cause you could, there could be a Reiki master or a shaman or a tarot reader, an astrologer, or just a general life coach or a spiritual life coach that's brought across your path. And you're like, oh my goodness, I'm meant to work with that person and invest in myself in order to do so, be it time, money, or both. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is how we know. Now, if you're not getting those, if you don't even start to see a little bit in about five days, then I want you to do some meditation. I want you to really do some inner reflection and say, okay, well, what do I need to tweak? Just kind of sit down and sit with yourself and say, what do I need to tweak? What needs to change? Or you can come right back here to this video or any of my other videos and ask. Just ask me and I'll be willing to help. Okay? So what do I need to tweak? What's going on? It's what I'm trying to do, right? So just reach out to one of us. You know, you can go to my website and you know, do, reach out. Okay, and then we'll help you as well. But you can also hear from your higher self and for the affirmations that are of your highest good to accomplish the goals and the aspirations that you're seeking to. Okay, my dear. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget, give me a like, a follow, a subscribe, a, a, a whatever it is, wherever you're at. Okay, leave me some comments. Let me know how this helped you. Let me know what you think about that Tesla method, okay? Let me know all of those great things because I want to hear about all of them. And until next time, don't forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. And I'll see you soon. Take care.